In this presentation we're going to look back at the IRIS data set and uh, just a bit of revision on it. It's one of the most uh, well known, commonly encountered uh, data sets in when you're learning statistical sciences like data mining or machine learning or something like that or statistics, it's one of the uh, data sets that you'll come across sooner or later. It was uh, written by a chap called Fisher and it was to do with irises, flowers. There's 150 cases altogether and in that 150 cases, 150 rows, there are three species and it's 50 species each. So the data contains three species of 50 instances. Uh, where each class uh, refers to a type of iris plant. So essentially there's a couple of de details there uh, related to how you might use that machine learning. But essentially, here we go again, attribute information, uh, four numeric variables, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and also a, new, a categorical variable which tells us which type of species of iris it is. So there's four numeric var variables and a categorical variable. So first off let's get ourselves set up. Import pandas as pd okay, and import numpy as mp. Actually I'm not really going to use that. I'm really not just going to use pandas now. And I have it saved in my working directory, a CSV file. Now what I'm going to do in this presentation is I'm going to do something different. This CSV file is called iris1.csv because it has a difference in it. Okay, but other than that, it's uh, I'm reading a CSV file in uh, using that read underscore CSV command, and iris1.csv is in my working directory, and I'm reading that in as iris. Okay, so so what do I expect? I expect four numeric variables and one categorical variable. And also, just a sort of quick remark that zero is a uh, Python is a zero index programming language. Okay, other programming languages such as R are one index, as in the first case has an index one. In Python, the first uh, case has an index zero. The first element has an index zero. So what we're going to do here is look at Iris, this Iris, the Iris I've just brought in, and we're going to look at the top ten rows. Just have a quick inspection of it. And what's going to happen here, iris head, that's how you uh, print out the first 10 rows. Okay. And what's going to happen here, you probably sort of tell straight away that we have an unnamed variable here, an unexpected unnamed variable. Now this is actually, might be the, the case number. Okay. Uh, for uh, So it might actually, this is an output you might get from a, uh, a CSV files when they come out with other uh, programming environments, they might automatically put in the case number. So unnamed uh, one, two, three. You can see it's essentially the index if it was one indexed. Okay. Now I am going to work on this variable for the time being. This variable here. Okay. And everything else I'm going to sort of ignore. So the first thing I'm going to try to do is actually rename it. Okay. And let's go down here. So what I'm going to do here is to rename it. So the uh, what I'm going to do here is rename the column I want to rename. Here the column I want to rename. Here actually, do you know what? I'm going to do this first. This is how you actually get the um, list of column names. And it's actually, you can just go list iris. And that actually gives you the column names. Uh, what is, oh, it's, I, I've actually not put that in through yet, so I'm just going to sort of pause this a second and uh, click through everything because I'm just working in an old notebook. So I just unpaused there and essentially what I have done is I just listed all of the column names and you can see up there at the top we have unnamed e zero. Okay, so that's the first unnamed column. So what I want to do is I want to rename that column just want to give it the name case because that's a good name. So what I do here is I'm going to transform the uh, make a permanent transformation and I'm going to use this attribute here rename rename and essentially just specify the columns I want to rename with the old name and the new name. Okay. So um yeah that's uh, essentially how you rename a column. So it's rename and just specify what you want to rename and the old name and the new name and that's it and so that will update the, the name so let's run that and see does that work so iris let's look at the top of iris again let's print out the first five cases there we go 
that the name of the first variable is now case. Okay. So that's how we might rename a column. Now, what I might do now is actually think, actually, I don't really want to, that variable at all. I want to get rid of that case. It's useless. It's a useless piece of information. It's, it's redundant in the presence of the index. So what I might do actually is drop that variable. So essentially what I, could, I do here is use this com uh, function here, or command here, drop, iris.drop. So it actually will drop the um, case variable. Uh, axis is w equals one. That's just a sp uh, specified column-wise operation. So just essentially drop the case uh, variable, the entire column of it. So let's run that. And you might sort of think, well, is something going on here? Might work. But let's go down to the next variable down here. If you actually look at, or sorry, the next cell and actually say, hang on, what happened here? It's back. Did I not drop it permanently? So what you might do then in that case is you might go down here. Sorry, what you might do is in place equals true. Okay, so that will permanently get rid of it. Okay, so uh, you have the variable you want to get rid of. And in place equals true essentially means permanently get rid of it. So iris.drop the name of the variable you want to drop in place equals true and again axis equals one column wise operation and let's see how that gets us on now did that do any good let's look at the head again the first three cases this time yep it's gone that's great so we were able to rename a variable and then get rid of a variable so rename and drop okay so what I want to go do now, this is something different. I've sort of got rid of everything, all the uh, all the useless information I didn't want to get rid of. But what I might do now is actually add in a variable. And a, what I'm going to do here is try divide. So I have a sepal length here and sepal width here. And suppose let's suppose I want a ratio of the two, one divided by the other. So I'm going to go sepal length and sepal width. And I'm going to call that sepal ratio, or sepal, sepal, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. So essentially just divide one by the other. I'm going to set this up as a little array. Let's actually have a look at that uh, below and see what type that is. Let's go there. So what is that type? It's always interesting to know what types you're dealing with. So what is sepal ratio? It's a series, okay, because that makes sense because we're dealing with pandas data frame and, um, well, they're made of a series essentially. The columns can be looked at as a series, uh, as a sort of joint uh, conjugation of series. So that's a sepal ratio or sepal ratio. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. My apologies. Now I want to add this in this sepal ratio into my data frame. So what I can do here is I can sp simply specify a new column. This is actually more deceptively simple. So, sepal ratio. I said you want to set up a new column, okay? For iris, and I'm going to call it sepal ratio, and I'm just going to assign that value there, those values there, okay? So I'm just going to add it into the um, data frame, okay? And all I have to do is just specify the new name and it just gets tagged on at the end. Again, this is deceptively simple. It's actually just take it in how quick and easy it is. Just add in a new column into a pandas data frame. So let's run that. And let's just have a look at how it turns out. There we are. Now it's actually at the end and what I'll do later on, or actually I've done this in a different presentation actually, so I'll leave it, but it's actually how you might reorder it there. I've given the, um, I can't call it the series pat sepal dot ratio, but I can give the column name that name because it sort of fits with the previous variables in the um, data frame. Uh, by the way, the, just as a remark, that dot is just sort of, it it, it, it was, doesn't really mean anything in the context of it's just a dot just to make it easier to read basically in the column name you can do this another way you can do this and uh, by you don't have to go to all that length of adding in this sort of temporary variable so you can actually do it directly iris petal ratio just doing the same thing again so ju we're just skipping the middleman of this uh, series that is just we add in we just add it in directly 
uh, so it's just essentially uh, we have this column here and this column here divide one by the other and just assign the values to this new column for iris separate and that's it really so it's quicker again just we use the existing very uh, columns and let's have a look at iris again let's write down here at the bottom just let's hear at the end petal ratio there we are simple ratio petal ratio all right that is the end of this presentation 10 minutes is a good i'll run okay bye